What's up guys, my name is Jack, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be walking through how to edit YouTube videos in 2018 completely free. Boom, yes guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel. I'm Jack, like I just said in the intro, I think. Uh, I produce weekly content based around video production, whether it be on video editing, videography and filming, or how to make money making videos and sharing all the ways that I'm personally making money making videos on a weekly basis. But today, we're tackling the uh, new installment to my free video editing software playlist, and we're doing a first new addition to this particular playlist called VSDC video editor, a 100% totally free video editing software, no watermark, no bullshit, overall very nice and smooth, runs great and I'm going to be walking through the process of editing YouTube videos on this editor because I know a lot of people just want to be editing YouTube videos, they don't necessarily want to spend all that money on a you know top of the range video editing software just to make a few, a few YouTube videos. I completely understand you, by all means when I was at the beginning of my video editing career I didn't have the money to put into these kind of more reputable programs and I personally, you know what I mean, indulged in these free video editing softwares as well. But without further ado guys, I'm going to jump over to my screens and we're going to be walking through the process of editing YouTube videos in VSDC free video editing software in 2018. Alright, what's going on guys? So go ahead and download VSDC free video editing software in the description below and uh, when you load it up, this is going to be the first screen that you're greeted with. Now. There is a pro version of it, but as you can see here, it only comes with a couple extra features, which are some more advanced stuff like chroma keying for green screens and masking tool to do some cool kind of uh, masking effects. But overall, the actual free video editing software itself, like I said in the intro, has no watermark, none of that, and uh, it is a fully functional free video editing software without upgrading. But if you do want to upgrade, it's like 20 bucks. But anyways, um, we can exit out of that. When you actually load up here, we can actually be greeted with a few different options. There's a screen capture, a video capture, uh, importing content, creating slideshows. Let's just hit creating a blank project. And let's actually go ahead and just make sure that's put on 1920 by 1080 and 30 FPS. And we can just call this sample, sample project. Boom. Now when we actually create a new project, this is what we're actually greeted with. Don't be too confused if you, you know, might be obviously that's that's just standard below by loading up a new software. But when you actually start, the first thing you're gonna wanna do to actually kind of import content is go up here to add object. And then you wanna go down to video. And uh, when you actually click that, you're gonna be loaded with uh, obviously the file explorer where you can go ahead and pick some content. I'm just gonna import a couple clips so we can create a basic sequence. I'm gonna import a nice three clips. Click open and we're gonna be greeted with this window here. Now this window is essentially to change around the order of your clips before we actually import them into our composition uh, down here, our scene. And uh, essentially I'm pretty happy with the order these clips are in, but if we wanted to change them around, obviously we could just drag them between each other. Also these arrows in between, these are all various different transitions up here. So for example, if we wanted to add a fade between, we could add a fade between these two clips here, uh, and then it's gonna show us that right there. And, uh, you know, we could actually add a fade between both of these two clips here, all right? Um, and then we can actually go ahead and click apply. And this is actually going to import these here into a sprite. Now, sprite is essentially like a pre-composed -comp uh, file where uh, all our stuff is stored inside this sprite. So if we double click the sprite, boom, then it just is looking um, kind of like a regular timeline. And if we drag this up, we can adjust the size of things. Now, obviously, in this timeline here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly just... Um, actually just edit out the bits I don't want, create a tiny little sequence here with these, and then we can actually move on to, to, to some more advanced YouTube stuff like adding the face cam in the top right, and I'm also, uh, also going to show you how we can do an awesome kind of um, uh, video in text effect for like a cool title. But right now, let me just go ahead and chop, chop out a couple things. So the first clip I want to chop is this. Now if we want to chop something, we would actually click the clip and then go up here and just go ahead and tap that one. And that's actually going to split these into two. Then we can actually just go ahead and delete that one, drag this one over here and, uh, and actually just go figure out where else we want to cut it. So I want to just wait until I climb up onto this castle. This footage is actually um, of me and my friend breaking into a castle. You know what I mean? Um, we basically just went there. It's like a little abandoned castle and just kind of climbed up on it and, uh, and filmed it on the drone. But I just got three clips, one of me climbing up onto it, then of me actually walking into it. 
and then of me, uh, and then of the actual drone kind of doing an overall shot of it. So I'm just going to cut these up very quickly, but that is the process of cutting very simply just to kind of, um, uh, actually go to the bit that you would want to actually have a change on. And then, you know what I mean? Simply go up here to the tool. So actually I'm going to find the bit where I kind of jump into the castle and then we're going to cut to that other clip. Oh, yep. I'm nearly yet. Yeah, boom. Go ahead and click that chop it again. One final time. We're going to do it to this clip over here and then we are set and we've created our kind of first, um, or just a very basic kind of sequence here, which we can now improve on. But boom, I'm going to actually go a little bit into when the, the drone just starts revealing the castle, probably a little bit over here. And I actually just go ahead and click this uh, cutting tool again. And I actually just go ahead and hit that. Skip over here to where it ended. Just go ahead and line this up with right there. Oh, just kind of going over just to line things up a little bit. Bring this over here. Boom. And actually just go here to chop it right about here. Where the, yeah, where it's actually gone over. And now we've just created a very basic sequence very, very quickly right there. Now, hypothetically speaking, say for a YouTube video, it's a very plausible situation to think that this sequence, um, that by the way, guys, if you want to preview your stuff, you can just hit this one here. But this sequence right here for a YouTube video, it's possible that we would maybe want kind of face cam and we'd be discussing this particular footage right here. So the way we do that is very, very, very simple. We'll go ahead and just pause that quick exit out. And let's actually just go ahead and import another video. So let's go ahead to add object, go down to video, and let's actually just go ahead and find a face cam video just of a, uh, a random YouTube video that I've created and we could just kind of take the intro. So I'm gonna click that, click that again. And obviously that's gonna import this right here onto the bottom of our composition right here or our sprite, which is part of our scene, which we can get to up here. And uh, essentially, um, in this program, okay, VSDC free video editing software, the bottom layer is what actually appears on top. So this might be a bit confusing that the bottom layer right down here is appearing on top of all these other clips, which down here um, kind of look like they're above it. However, in this, in this editing software, whatever's on the bottom is going to appear on the top. So obviously this is on the bottom, nice and simple. We just have to come down here to these adjustments right here actually click it and hold shift so we can keep all the aspects uh, the same and just drag this up to the top left. And let's actually just scroll back up here and we can actually position that nicely right there. And now if we go to our preview and hit play, that is going to have a face cam in the top left, just like that. Super, super simple. Now, if we actually want to add some text guys, this is going to be very simple again. All we want to simply do guys is actually go ahead and um, go up here to add object. Go ahead and hit text and select this one right here. Hit it and let's actually just go ahead and draw a big text box covering the middle of our screen. Now when we do that it's actually going to create some text down here and in fact we could, we could actually press Control A to highlight everything then press shift click on the text or control click on the text rather. So we're not selecting that and just drag everything over a little bit so that we can actually have this text coming up first. Now let's actually press T and, uh, and actually go type some text here. Now I'm just going to put some default text. I want to write title. Then I'm going to go up here and actually make this uh, about 500, I think. So we can make a big title right there. Go ahead and click off it. Just uh, bring this text box in a bit just so it's kind of the same. Then we can actually drag this text just to kind of be on the middle. And I'm going to show you how we could actually go about creating a video in this text. So we've created the text right here. We want to scroll along a little bit. How long do we want this on for? That's the, that's the idea. We want to see how long it's on for. It's on for about three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. Okay. It's on for a few seconds. So we probably want it to go after it, after it comes on. So we'll leave it on until everything hits here. So we'll have, we'll, we'll have it, we'll have it leave when the first frame of this starts, right? So boom, now we've made that adjust in, uh, adjustment to actually add a video in here. We would double click this text layer, which brings us to this here. And then we can actually go to add video, uh, add object rather video, and then actually select a video. So I would probably go back to my drone clips and actually just select a nice clip that we could use right here and it's going to import it here. Then we just simply drag things out, just drag it out a bit to actually fit over the whole text. 
simply go to the blend and select source in. And just like that, we can actually go back here and we could press play on our preview and we are gonna have a cool drone video in text title. And then it's actually gonna cut to our face cam at the top left with me climbing on top of a castle from the drone with the actual little transitions in between. And just like that, guys, we have created a, a very nice scene. We can go back here to scene, play this, and um, you know what I mean? We've created a very nice sequence with a cool title, video in the text, and a very nice face cam up there in the top left. And uh, overall, boom, to actually export this now, guys, it would be very simple. Let's just go up here to export project, very simple, and select the file type we want to export as. So I'm gonna export as, let's go ahead and just export as WMV. Why not? I'm on my Windows. Let's support, uh, export as WMV, and we can actually go ahead and select where it's gonna export right here. Uh, I'm gonna actually just go ahead and select just my record drive. I'm actually just save this, a sample, and let's hit export project. All right, now right here, it's gonna say we used uh, hardware acceleration uh, because that's a pro feature, it doesn't matter. We can actually just go ahead and click continue without actually uh, upgrading to the pro version. And just like that, it is going to export our project. I'm gonna come back in one second and actually watch this with you guys on my computer. And, uh, and we can actually just see what the final version is looking like. But overall, uh, in a nutshell, this has been VSDC free video editing software. If you enjoyed the video and uh, even followed along, then by all means you have just learned some cool effects and some cool information about this. I truly believe this is a great video editing software um, just for the fact that it's totally free, no watermark, offers a bunch of great features, and overall uh, this is a great free option to actually be creating uh, that kind of YouTube content, which already, if you're not profiting from the YouTube or the content that you're creating, you don't want to put all your money into a crazy software like Premiere or After Effects or something like that. Um, and uh, you know what I mean? This is a nice free option, but the conversion was complete. We're just gonna go ahead and go over to my record drive uh, and actually find this, which is uh, buried in all my random videos. And just like that, we have the video going here. The title, I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller so, uh, so I'm not losing focus. And just like that, it is a title with a video and text and then it's here, the face cam, with me actually climbing up onto the top of a castle with some cool fade transitions in between. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. By all means, find the free video editing software, VSDC, free video editor, down below in the description. And uh, by all means, download it and tell me what you guys think. And this video will definitely give you some good information. It has given you some good information to, me, uh, to get you started on your kind of video editing journey uh, for YouTube with this free video editing software. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day and goodbye.